Hi, I'm James. Over the past few months, I've been destroying this World War II bunker. There's boy who's out there digging. That's the World War II bunker. And he's making a little, a little den. Little boy. I feel like this video is way too serious for me. How I accidentally became TikTok famous. So my TikTok journey starts back in 2015 when I downloaded an app called Musical.ly. Yes, I'm that old. I became one of those like 2015 annoying pre-teen wannabe stars, but I think it's fair to say every 2000 kid onwards has basically had an extremely cringy musically TikTok YouTube phase. I eventually grew up and <laughs> I eventually grew up and I took down all of the videos because they were unbearable, which I now kind of think is a shame because it would be hilarious to watch them back. However, I never actually deleted the account and I still use that account as my kind of backup second account thing which only has like a couple hundred followers, so maybe go check that out. Now, fast forward to the 10th of February, 2019. I was 14 at the time, at a meal. We were talking about TikTok. One of the younger siblings was a bit TikTok obsessed and we were just kind of joking about it. So I decided to make a new account named the context at this time it was very trendy to uh, hate tiktok and i was one of those people how times have changed I made a few kind of like ironic tiktoks making fun of tiktokers funny how that turned out this all kind of got forgotten about and i deleted the app until lockdown in 2020, I re-downloaded the app and I realized it's actually all right so long as your for you page is good so then I started using it and I thought, why not make a few more videos kind of, you know, continuing that making fun of trends. And I kept doing this, but um, I got hooked. I went from doing it ironically to doing it because I've really enjoyed it. At this time, kind of my view for TikTok changed. It had a bad name for itself, sure, but how it's represented in the media is only a very small fraction of what the app actually is. So in November 2021, I deleted most of my ironic TikToks and started making videos just because I found it fun. You know, I was making kind of comedy, if you could call it that. My first video that I did well was the Spider-Man 3090 TikTok, tick tick boom trend this video got 3,000 views which at the time for me I was blown away shortly after that video I hit 100 followers which I found quite a big achievement for myself TikTok kind of turned into a bit of a hobby of mine and I made a very big goal of trying to hit a thousand followers something that I thought would never happen I kept on making these funny videos, doing trends, kind of stuff like that. And then I had my second video that did well. On the 9th of February, I posted this video just before I went to hang out with my friend Ben. Whilst we were out, I checked my phone and I saw that it nearly had 10,000 views. So we kind of, we were sat in my car, I remember like watching it and just kept refreshing, refreshing, and it hit 10,000 views. And I was absolutely blown away by that. I think eventually that video ended up getting like 100,000 views, but then it just kind of, my count kind of went back to normal after that. Kind of getting those like average, like couple hundred views per video, which was still all right. I just kind of continued having fun and making videos that I enjoyed. I had a few that did well, but nothing viral, which I didn't mind because I was just having fun until everything changed. I made a video on a World War II bunker that I have at the end of my car. Garden. And it did well, not amazing, but I had this idea that I thought it would be cool to do a project where I kind of clean it out and maybe turn it into a den or something. I didn't really have a plan and I had absolutely no idea where this series would take me, but I thought I'd give it a go. I recorded three videos at once, the first two I uploaded and they absolutely flopped. They got about 10 views each. Not even that, maybe. At this point, I was going to give up the project, but I thought, well, no. I'm doing a project that I want to do, so I'm just going to carry on. So I did upload a third video that did better. Not great, better. It was actually on the fourth video that did well. It got 20,000 views, which I found that was like mental and that very much gave me the motivation to carry on making videos. At this time I kind of learned a little bit more about how TikTok works, what works well and what doesn't and and I slowly started growing more followers. My biggest accomplishment was actually when I hit a thousand followers, not a hundred, not ten thousand, not even a hundred thousand, 
1,000 followers was my biggest accomplishment because that's what I set out as my goal. And it was the first kind of big achievement, the, the first big milestone that I reached. So I hit 1,000 followers on the 24th of March and then my account was growing like crazy. I hit 10,000 on the 14th of April and then 100,000 on the 9th of May. And right now I have 125.8 thousand. I somehow gained 99,000 followers in 46 days, completely by accident. I was making videos that I enjoyed, and I think because I enjoyed them and trying DIY, something that I didn't know much about, people enjoyed watching them and watching me learn, kind of coming along the journey with me. I've had media companies like Lad Bible do videos on me. Hi, I'm James. Over the past few months, I've been restoring this World War II bunker. That was very surreal. I think the strangest moment of my TikTok career was when Colin Furs, the guy with a proper bunker in his garden, who's literally building a tunnel with 11 million subscribers on YouTube, like literally one of my heroes. He followed me on TikTok. Because I follow him back, it actually says we're friends. I've also got another famous follower, Ollie Bull. It's Ollie Bull here. Ollie Bull. I still think I'm dreaming about that one. And that's my story. Any advice I'd give out to anyone there who wants to grow on TikTok is just make videos you enjoy and eventually your audience will find you and they will be a genuine audience who also enjoy what you're doing. So just do something that you want to do and also pray to the TikTok gods. <laughs> But seriously, don't give up, because if I gave up after posting those first two videos, none of this would have happened. The other thing is, your first 100 followers will be the hardest thing to get to. Trust me on that, you've just got to stick at it, and you will get there. I'm now having a go at YouTube, as you can clearly see, so I would really appreciate it if you could give any support to my channel. You guys know the drill. Thanks for watching.